because this week and I'm about faster working. This week, um, we were having a conversation. We were sitting in clinical, sitting at the table at the hospital, and they don't even ask me how we got on the subject, but we started talking about going to church. And um, one of the one of my classmates, she was like, you know, that's why I respect Olivia because she's not going to sit here and try to push anything up, you know, up on me or any, you know. And I'm like, but that doesn't mean that. I, I can't speak my mind. If there's something that I have to say, I'm going to say it to you. That doesn't mean that you have to accept it or, you know, anything like that. And then we started talking about, and she was like, well, see, the reason why she's a Buddhist. She was like, the reason why um, I don't go to a lot of, you know, Christian churches, and that's not my faith, because I feel like a lot, not all, but a lot of Christian churches that the pastors and driving nice cars and the church is paying for I say, wait a minute. <laughs> I say, my pastor is not on salary. No. I say, my pastor works. And my teacher, my teacher said, your pastor works? I say, yeah, he does. She said, well, what does he do? I said, he does, like, contracting work. She said, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. She said, I've never seen that before. Wow. Yeah. People, people are really misconstrued with, yeah, exactly. with a lot of things. But it's yeah. funny that you mentioned that because I had the same conversation this week. I wanted to say this point today. When I saw the title of this point, I automatically thought about co pastor because she's always encouraging us and calling us women of God. If she speaks to anybody in here, she calls you the morning woman of God, the yeah. woman of God. And a lot of times we get so downtrodden with ourselves, we get so caught up in ourselves that we forget to claim that title, woman of God. So this poem is um, titled, Arise, Woman of God. Yes, yes. It says, Rise up, O woman of God, and what he has given you, the things that God has laid on your heart. Rise up, go forth, and do. Unlock what God has placed within you, the potential that you have inside. The world is waiting for your release to expand your wings and fly. Arise in your God-given gifts. For this is your finest hour. Arise in the Lord's holy might, ignited and empowered. For God is calling you to come forth to impact this world for him. Don't hold back or limit yourself. Let his power arise within. And take his message to the world, to those that have lost their way. For you can surely make a difference if you hear his voice and obey. Amen. You shall be strengthened in the Lord. As you begin to rise, conquering those doubts that pull you down and believe in who you are in Christ. For you shall surely be transformed as in you God increases more and become a woman of true excellence, bringing honor 